Hey everybody, this is Phil Kohler with Polygon, and I'm here with my friend Gif Griffin McElroy. Hi, Griffin. Hi, Phil. God, I wish I could uh, sort of rip your brain out and put it in my brain so that I could have the memories of having played this game. <laughs> this is Monster Hunter World, and uh, I was lucky enough to actually go to uh, Capcom's offices in San Francisco and play this game last week. What are you wearing? Look at that fucking hood. You it's look like beautiful. a you look it's, like a clown. That's fashion. What are you talking it's, about? It's some kind of fashion. Um, um, please tell me uh, literally everything. Start right now. Start talking. So now. you can see we're we're in like the the sort of quest area here, and they've put in the they've put in a nice thing now. We're in the quest area. You can hop on into a a tent and change out all of your equipment. You don't have to do that, that in is, town. It's it is dumb that that's such a huge deal <laughs> to me. <laughs> A lot of the stuff that's new in this is like really minor, but uh, you that can see there's fucking crown. Holy shit, man! This looks so good. All right, I'm sorry, royalty. I don't mean to keep interrupting you. <laughs> uh, so there's all, also all these cool things. There's different boosters you can equip. There's different charms. Um, you you equip a mantle, and the mantle allows you to do different things. Like uh, you can have a camouflage mantle that lets you blend in. You can have a glider mantle that lets. So you there's glide. like passive passive abilities not bound to like collecting armor points. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely oh, correct. That's really cool. Okay. Um, and so yeah, there's just a lot of really interesting stuff like that. Um, we're gonna accept a quest here and go after a. Uh, oh, so you do that on the monster. ground also? You don't have to do that before you think, drop into the world. I think you will do that normally in town, okay. but for this okay. demo build, they let you do it here. Um, you can also you got your eat. supply box. That's. That's that's returning. Yep, yep. And you can also go eat uh, right in this little tent area as well, but we didn't do that because uh, we're we're not good at this game. Okay, great. Um, is this you playing with like some devs or? Yeah, I'm playing with some some, some Capcom folks here. Okay, cool. Um, you can see some little stuff here again, just minor quality of life stuff. But like, I just I saw that herb and I just grabbed it and kept going. I didn't yeah, that to, like, was really, down. really fast. Yeah. <laughs> to, like, take it. Um, uh, so you're using the gun lance, all the weapon categories from, I guess, generations. And uh, there were the same categories, I think, in four also. Those yeah. are, those yeah, are all back? Yeah, all returning as far as I know. Um, we've, okay. got, we've got a bow gunner with us. We've got somebody using the charge blade. We've got all sorts of good stuff. Um, and gun lance has always been my favorite, so I kind of stuck to that. Uh, you're going to see here, I'm picking up some stuff that uh, they said can be used for slinger ammo. Uh, slinger is just like a, it's a slingshot and everybody has it now, um, okay. at all times. And you can just pick up stuff that like along the way, it's like, oh, this is a, this is a piece of ammo. Or this is like a nut that you can shoot at enemies that'll help stun them or help blind them. Um, so it kind of um, makes, you're able to do some sort of on the fly prep. Uh, wow. The combat looks very, very familiar. Um, it's, it feels very familiar and in a good way. Yeah, so the scout flies. Can you talk a little bit about that? Because that's another new thing, and it's like they're kind of adding more of like a tracking element into yeah. the game than, than has ever really been in there. Yeah. So now instead of just and and part of this is related to the fact that it's all one big map now. It's not like set aside by zones, oh, yeah. um, and it's the maps are the map itself is much bigger than any previous uh, Monster Hunter maps. Are there going to be multiple maps? Or there will be. Mostly... Okay, okay. But, um, but yeah, so the scout fly thing basically allows you... You'll find things on the ground. You'll find, like, tracks. You'll find a scent. Um, oh, there, there he well, is. There's, well, there's just the damn thing. Oh, there's our like... Anjanath. Okay. Um, but, yeah, you'll, you'll find all this stuff. You can find, like, monster droppings. You can find slime from monsters who leave little slime patches. Um, all sorts of stuff that, like, you just collect it, and as you collect it, the scout flies are going to be able to lead you in the direction of like, okay, I think it's this way. Um, okay, interesting. Was it difficult to differentiate that from the slime that you, Phil Kohler, just sort of naturally oh, produce? Man. It's a... Uh, listen. That's a completely different thing from the slime that this monster produces. Okay, sorry. Uh, um, <laughs> so talk uh, about, like, how does it, how does it feel? Because, like, that's sort of my biggest question is how it... I mean, feels because the, I've only played the 3DS ones, and I guess I played uh, Three Ultimate on on Wii U. Yeah. And I feel like this is going to be totally different on you know PC and on on current gen consoles. I mean, it feels real good playing Monster Hunter with an actual controller. I mean, yeah. I liked Three Ultimate the most of all the ones I've played for that reason. Yeah. Um, and I you know I've made it work on on 3DS with no problems. It's been fine, but. Getting back to playing it with an actual controller just feels nice, man. And I feel and like range range weapons in particular are going to be like, oh, I can aim a thing now because I have two sticks. Yeah, yeah, it's so it's so so nice. And they've done clearly so much of this game is just these like quality of life improvements 
that, um, you know, I think some Monster Hunter fans have maybe looked at and been like, oh, they're, they're oversimplifying it, but so much of these changes are like, they're not making it, they're, they're taking away stuff that was always an annoyance. Right. They're not actually um, making the combat simpler, they're not actually making it easier. Sure. I, I adore this series, but we tried to get Justin into it while we were at all at E3 together. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> holy shit, could this series do with some quality of life improvements? Because yeah, exactly. there's some stuff that's just wild. But, like, as you can see here throughout this fight, you know, this is a this is like a 25 minute struggle that it took us. Like, it's the same kind of like stuff you're used to. Um, there is something cool that's going to happen here, which is you see that monster just knock that tree right down. Yeah, I'm assuming um, that can hit hit you pretty bad. It can. But the then, environment can also be used to take take the monster down. Uh, like, there's there's a lot of opportunities to do that based on what we saw in the E3. Well, demo. We're going to see one right here. There you go. So that oh, tree so like the vines fell down. The tree. And, yeah, it kind of created a trap right away. Interesting. Um, there's also, like, little weird stuff. Like, you can see there's now numbers popping off the monsters, which is not I like something that you've ever had. I like that a lot. Yeah. It's just kind of a nice, like, it helps you know when you got a real good hit in, right? Yeah, it helps you know when you're doing well at all. Because there could be times where, like, especially with, like when I play with dual blades, I just feel like I'm barely, barely, barely chipping away because I don't really get as much feedback. Yeah, um, absolutely. All right, we now we got a mounting going on. God, that looks cool. We're going to see some of that from uh, from this perspective very, very soon. So guild styles were a thing in Generations I really, really liked, and I think those are gone, those, right? The, like, those are gone. Okay, um, yeah, those those were neat. Like those were all about like making something based on your play style. Like, are you an agile dodging player, or do you like to just like get in there and do a bunch of abilities? I guess combat abilities are those gone also? Like the uh, guild arts, I think they were called. As far as I can tell, they are. Um, okay. But they have, uh, you know, you, as you said earlier, the combat looks familiar. They have updated it some, and each you know each weapon type they said is going to come with some new like additions or changes. Um, yeah. There are going to be like new moves in your arsenal and stuff to things to figure out that are different than they were before. Um, um, did you only get to play the hunt, or like how much like up upgrade customization and stuff did you get? To I didn't get to now? see much of that, unfortunately. I did one okay. solo hunt before this. Um, it was kind of funny. The solo hunt I I completed in about two minutes. <laughs> and oh wow! It was like it was against like the sort of the beginner monster, and yeah. I was kind of like. Did you guys tune down the difficulty? Like, or is that just because I know Monster Hunter? Um, oh, there goes that tail. Yeah, so we got the tail off there, which is, of course, always good. I also some... noticed earlier, uh, but I didn't want to in interrupt you, uh, the player where the switch axe hit you and knocked you out of your, your combo. Oh, so I'm yeah. glad that that's still a thing that jerks have to pay attention to. Uh, and oh. you can see a giant shadow flew over yeah. there. That, uh, we, we don't actually encounter it, but that is, I was told, a Rathalos. Oh, flying no. around this zone and you can you can indeed as as they showed off in the E3 demo get attacked by the Rathalos. Oh, here, here we, we go. go. So this mounting is a uh, is real intense in this. They they do not like that. They try to get you off. Same um, sort of system of like having to hang on tight when they're flailing and yeah, stab when yeah, they're not. It's, okay. it's very similar or move. Oh, did he just run to... you into the tree? Yeah, I had to like move to evade that. Holy shit, that's really cool. And you're not doing a ton of damage when you're mounted, but if you, but if you stay you on long enough, you knock them down like this, and then you guys can just shit, wail yeah. on the creature for a while. Look oh. at all the, those big numbers. Oh, Phil, I want your brain, dude. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super into this. And also the thing I'm super into is, like, seeing it at E3 was awesome, seeing the demo was awesome, but actually getting my hands on it and realizing, like, no, it it's a real thing, and it plays yeah. like I want it to, uh, it's, it's so good. And apparently... It's gonna be out like early 2018, is what they're saying. Um, so like, what a what a great spring game this will be. Like, it's one of those things I could see picking up at the start of the year and just playing for the rest Forever? of the year. Forever, yeah, for sure. So you see here, I'm throwing some uh, bomb pods, and doing some, okay, some big with your, damage. With your slinger, okay, yeah, interesting. Um, you can also pick up, like I said, like flash pods that'll blind them, and scatter nuts are just ones that'll stun them. And there he goes, running off again. Um, what platform were you playing on? This was on the PlayStation 4. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, looks, and they said uh, PS4 and Xbox One is coming out uh, early 2018. And I should clarify that PC version is coming, but later. Okay. Uh, but man, this is going to be such a good game to have on PC too. I think I, I think I said uh, to some of the Capcom folks, this is the kind of game that I'm going to install on Steam and just never uninstall. <laughs> yeah, sure. 
Uh, you can see also, as this monster dies, he's leaving these poison slime puddles. And if we fight in that, we get poisoned. That makes sense. That tracks. Did you get the sense that, like, this is a particularly difficult fight? Or was it just sort of, like, uh, I, I love this series again, but, like, I feel like some fights can just kind of feel like a war of attrition a little bit. I'm hoping they kind of yeah, address I mean, that a little bit I, more. I would say it is very much in that war of attrition category. I mean, like... I, it's also tough to say because we were playing four player and you know it scales up the difficulty some scales up the the health and everything when you're playing in a group yeah um, and the fights get a lot shorter when like you're playing a weapon that you're really confident with and you're yeah. playing in a group of people who also are very confident with their weapons hey here we go again so it's hard to say it's hard to say exactly um, you know like if I was playing this solo maybe it would have gone a lot faster um, just in terms of him having less health and less time yeah, sure less chances to run away and everything. Um, but I definitely, you get know, him, get him, get him with that. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I wouldn't say this is this fight was like impossibly difficult, but I also wouldn't say it was super easy. Like I ended up going through quite a bit of my my health potions. You'll see here, um, using some life powder to uh, to heal up the whole group as well. Oh, that's neat. That's a cool yeah. thing. So, so you've played Gunlance like pretty much every game. Gunlance has um, been my main. Since, so like uh, how, because I know that there's subtle changes from like game to game and they're obviously changing stuff here like you said earlier. How like easy was it for you to just kind of jump in? I mean, I definitely, you know, once I, once I had played for about five minutes, I got it, you know? Okay. Um, so here we're going to finish this guy off. He's, he's headed back to just take a nap. He's like, I've had enough. I don't want to fight. So we're just going to follow him. Not, not engage. And uh, I think you're gonna like how we finish him off. We've got a real stylish way here. And this is my. This is one of the reasons I love Gunlance so much because I. This is how I killed the other monster. Yep. Well, time for some wyvern fire, just right here, right against the head. He was really nice to let you set that up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he needed, I think, one more hit here, and then we got him. This game rules. I'm so stoked to play more, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm really really looking forward to it. And of course, here at the end, you gotta get in your carbs. Gotta yeah, get you in gotta your carbs. get gotta get deep in that bod and just get you that meat. We're uh, we're definitely gonna have to play some of this together, Griffin, when it comes out. Fuck yeah, man! All right, well, thank you so much for joining me, and uh, stay tuned for more Monster Hunter in the near future, hopefully.